This video is for the 1022 owners out there. You know how difficult it can be sometimes to press the mag release when you're at the range or if you're going to be fighting a zombie horde. Everybody knows that the mag release you get to kind of stick your finger up in there and press it out and it's kind of difficult sometimes not for me really but I'm just doing this for the um, to, to make it a little bit easier on myself and uh, I want to modify the Ruger a little bit so I picked this little piece off of Amazon UTG metal magazine release for 22 rifles let me take it out of the packaging it comes in this little plastic packaging I'll show you guys what it looks like looks like this it'll stick in the rifle like this and all you gotta do is press forward on it and it'll release the magazine uh, it's metal it's not like those uh, cheap little plastic pieces of crap you can buy online for like two dollars this costs about nine dollars it's worth it it's pretty nice it's painted black and installation is a joke it's the easiest thing you'll ever do to your gun so let's uh... we can install this now basic takedown uh, remove the barrel band and then Remove your takedown screw with just a screwdriver. Make sure you get a screwdriver that fits and fills the screw head completely. You don't want to mess up your screw head. Get this sucker out. Alright. And then you put your safety in the middle. the stock you don't need to remove the trigger root but you can just simply by pushing out these two pins but I'm not going to do that let's uh, get a little closer you're going to need to get a small punch like this one and you're going to drift out this pin just push it out there it is This is the easiest thing you're ever going to do. Press down on this little button right here. And then you can actually just tip it over. And then the mag button will fall out. The mag release button will fall out. Let me uh, compare them. So here's how they compare. They look pretty much identical so let's see how it fits in there installation is the same thing press that button drop it in and then release it and then it will be stuck in there see how you do that you just press forward on it and now the, the trickier part is to get the pin back in. You gotta line all these things up to get the pin back in. Right there. And you just fuss with this a little bit. Let me see if I can get that pin in. I feel like this is gonna be make it much easier at the range when I'm shooting this baby also I'm getting a wood stock for this gun instead of that polymer one doesn't seem to fit too well in the polymer one like the gun kind of rattles around and doesn't sit in there like it should so I feel that if I get a wood stock this thing won't go in if I get a wood stock um, 
I can make it more accurate. I'm gonna bed the stock, and if I can get this piece in, I said this is the easiest thing, and I can't even get the pin back in. I think there we go. That's got it. There you go. Boom. It's in. Yeah. So as I was saying, the stock. Yeah. I ordered a wood stock. Uh, I'm gonna refinish it. I actually got all my finishing supplies right here. I'm gonna make it this beautiful honey color. So that'll be coming up in a, a video shortly. Let's put the stock back on. Same thing, put the safety in the middle, drop it over. Put the takedown screw back in. This rifle is extremely easy to work on. Tighten her up. Barrel band back on. Tighten that up. The only thing I don't like about tightening up this barrel band with a screwdriver is you can see that I scratched the paint off this or the blue off this. It's not too pretty. But there, the mag release is installed. Let me go grab a magazine. There you go. All I do is just press it forward, it falls out. Yeah, got a nice, nice uh, fit, nice finish, nice piece off for less than ten dollars. Okay, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and be sure to watch my upcoming videos where I refinish a new stock for this. Thanks for watching, guys.